Hey what is up guys it's your boy Z and welcome back to House Flipper. So today what we're going to do is we are going to do the 1970s special request house today. So if we're going to jump straight in we haven't done anything yet. We're going to have a quick squiz around and see what we've got to work with. We are actually doing a variable woman's house. It is suggested and requested by uh, Shannon who is Abba and Mamma Mia fan and stuff like that. So this is the house that we're going to do today. And we've got to clean up all the cockroaches. But since it's a 1970s kind of retro Mamma Mia kind of style house, we've got the orange walls, the orange chairs, with a slight bit of modern as well. Got the wood grain stuff. I think this is a perfect house to actually do it. We're going to have a quick squiz through here. Uh, where well, we've got another bedroom with the purple walls. There's a lot of stuff in here that we can actually use and reuse, guys. So we're going to do that. Um, actually, this is pretty clean. A bit of dirt on there. Uh, let's see what else we got to work with. Oh, okay. We've got cockroaches, and we've got another big room here. We've got a nice wardrobe there, and we have an ensuite bathroom. Okay, we can work with that. We can work with this. We're going to change up the walls a bit. Uh, we've got a couple of funky... 70s kind of style things with a bit of modern. I think we can work with this. What have we got in here? We've got another storeroom. Yes, let's do this. Now, the new thing is, guys, we can actually change the color of the house as well. Um, house Flipper is actually patched in. We've got sky, uh, some scaffolding and stuff like that we can actually use. But we're going to jump straight into it and uh, we're going to start cleaning up the house. So we'll quickly go and mop all this stuff away, clean all the windows. I think by the time we come back and do all these, we shall be ready to start putting down all our stuff.
Okay, we have finished the actual house for you, Shannon. The retro ABBA Mamma Mia style house. Me and the fiance have actually gone and finished it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in straight away and we're going to be greeted upon the front entrance here. We've got our shelf here. We can put our ornaments and knickknacks and whatnot. And we've got our green shelf up here with uh, code hooks and whatnot. In the first room here, we've gone with a kind of greeny color with the gray because you like the colors and that. So we've gone with the special wood grain, uh, specifically from Mamma Mia sort of thing. And we've got like a double desk here. We've left it without no computers and whatnot. Just leave it like some sort of little room. Nice big lights if we uh, go and put the light on, which we haven't got a switch. So we'll go and put one of these in now. <laughs> we, we need to go and put one of these in. So we've got installations, and we'll go stick on one of these. All right, here we go. Boom. Look at that. Nice and bright for you. And we've got the nice little kind of uh, flowery curtains there. Everything was looking good. We actually did the flooring for you. All nice and bright colors sort of thing. Moving right along, we are granted by our kitchen area and living area as well. Starting off with the kitchen. We've kept it as it was with all the wood grain and whatnot. We put this little gas burner in. Funky 70s curtains here. The gold kind of curtains and everything like that. And we put a couple of shelves in here with pot plants and what have you. We've also done the modern kind of stools for the kitchen. I think that looks really cool with a couple of plants in the corner with the window open. Look at that. Very plain, very simple, very, very kind of 70s style. Moving right along over to this corner here, we've got the wood grain tables here. And I've seen a couple of pictures from Mamma Mia that they actually use these kind of wood slatted chairs here. So we've gone with a funky green color with the actual kind of pine oak color table matched in the floors. And we've got the gold ABBA record here. I th you've got to have it. You've got to have it with a nice framed outline of the actual shelving. We've kept the actual style of the 70s on one side of the wall. I thought that would blend in quite nicely following the actual wood grain and what have you. I'm thinking it looks good with the green matching with the plants with the actual chairs. I think this fits perfectly. A nice kind of funky rug blending with the actual table. It just fits. It really fits. Now, moving right along, we'll go to the curtains first. Curtains are a grey kind of pattern. Obviously, to match the actual colour of the wall. And we've kept these lights. We kept them all. We didn't change anything, but we did put in a fan, which looks really cool. Loving the wood grain finishes though. It's sort of like modern slash 70s, Mamma Mia, retro-y. Everything's thrown in on this one. Now, here we go. We've got ABBA pictures. And yes, I know they're not the original ABBA pictures, but these are awesome. We've got the actual gold play, uh, play buttons. We've got the gold records here from ABBA as well. I'm not sure which one it was. Let's have a look. Side one, it's an LP, ABBA, whatever it is. But it's ABBA everything for you, Shannon. Looking good, looking good. And the two bits of color down the bottom for you, because you like color. Lots of plants, lots of plants, so you won't be suffocating here. You're going to have plenty of uh, oxygen in this house. Opening the door to the little hallway here, we've got our three ABBA pictures here, which... Basically fits really nicely. Kept everything plain and simple in the hallway here. Nice couple of lights. A one gold picture. And the only bit of color that you actually really see is this like little side cabinet wardrobe. Which we got from over there when we actually bought the house. So we kept that as well. Beautiful rug. I think that looks really cool as well. It just separates everything from such a plain hallway. First room to the left. We've got the purple, grey, and greeny colour funky room. We've got the actual blue mat 
We've got the nice little changing table for makeup and stuff. More shelving for you. We've got the original Mamma Mia the movie. Hello, Piers. How you doing, buddy? Piers. Uh, we've got the actual gold play button, uh, gold play button, I keep saying gold play button, gold records here from ABBA, nice wood grain bed, everything sets perfectly, and we've got a nice little chair in the corner here and everything like that. We went for the Bohemian card style uh, look to it, for the uh, Mamma Mia look, because we all heard you uh, singing the old ABBA tunes, yes we have. Moving right along to the next bedroom on the left hand side. We'll come in here. This is the main bedroom. We've gone with like greeny color with a lot of wood grain. That there itself says 70s. That is perfect. And it's also modern colors now as well. Blue and green should never be seen. So that was definitely, definitely something you needed to put in there with a nice bit of pink. Look at that. Nice. Reflective mirrors here. Can't see dick all about myself. Hello. I'm invisible. I'm a vampire. Moving right along. We've got the rocking chair. And in a couple of photos I've seen of Mamma Mia, we've got a rocking chair. Still with the wood grain flooring, still with the green on one side, I think that's great. We kept the wooden brown doors in here compared to the actual white. I think it just gives it that kind of wood kind of feel to it. A big ABBA picture here, which perfectly fits the actual grey walls. That actually looks really good. Another bookshelf as the front here. We continue on with the actual pink basket as well more green foliage for the plants coming in here we've got a kind of storage unit here for shelving and that all nice and bright look at that one strip one strip how awesome is that nice nice indeed anyway moving right into the bathroom we're keeping the green color guys we're keeping the green color and we've got a darker green in the actual bathroom it's a very modern bathroom, but we've got a kind of look to it. We've got to keep the old sort of style with the old kind of taps. We didn't put a mirror in. I thought the owners could actually put the mirror in itself. And uh, the object of this bathroom is we've put a brand new bog roll in there. Just in case. We've got a nice bathroom here. Um, the toilet looks a bit skew if, but people can do their own renovations as well. It's old house. It's 1970s. Come on. They didn't care where they took dumps. Anyway, moving right along. What else we got? We've got one little light bulb up the top here. Bit bit off center here. Which, uh, hang on, we can actually move that over to there. And that's a bit self center. It doesn't matter. Let's move on. Move on. She wants to see the rest of the house. The hall, the house down the hall, the house down the hall. The actual room down the hall is a nice sky blue color. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Got the plasma TV, more foliage on the floor. We've gone with a, a kind of bluey kind of rug, but if you look at it very closely, it looks a bit dirty and worn. But that's a good thing, that's a good thing. Adds more character to a room. Got another one here as well. Once again, another wooden bed. And we've got like a wicker kind of wood base chair. I think that looks really cool. That looks really cool. I'm going to reuse that in another video. Um, we've gone with the new kind of curtains, which is like a creamy gray white color for the curtains. And we've gone with a darker red kind of color actual wardrobe here. The different kind of color wood grain here. So it's multiple wood colors in this room. So you've got this to match that and this to match that. Then we've got the white wood with the green. Blue and green should never be seen. I think it fits really well. But uh, yeah, look at that. And nice little light globes at the top. Moving right along. Anyway, close that one. We've got the next bathroom. Right, so if we close the door here, we've got the actual wicker basket here for the washing. We've got a nice size bathtub here with the actual shower head. Curtains. We didn't bother putting curtains or blinds in and stuff. We thought we'd just leave it light and bright. This looks pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But it looks pretty cool. It reminds me of something out of Back to the Future 2 where Marty puts his shoes in. It's a water heater. I've just been told it's a water heater. Shannon, you've got a water heater in your house. We've got an air con here. Oh, it could be evaporative cooling. Blow out the air to the water and it blows back out again. Looking cool. Um, we've got something here. You can 
establish something later on if you wanted to. We've got a nice toilet and the sink, which actually come with the property. Got a nice mirror, and we've got the wood grain furnishings here for shelving. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It looks really, really good. So I think that is all of the property. Yes, yes, yes it is. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to take a screenshot of that. Uh, here we go. There we go. Screenshot taken. 1970s retro Mamma Mia slash Abba house. We are going to sell. Let's see what we get for it. Here we go. Boom. We bought the house for 74621 We're going to start the auction off. Let's see how we go. Okay, Giorgio is starting us off with 105. Chang Choi is 105. Jimmy is at 106. The Johnson family, 110. Jack is offering us at 112. Dolan is now 113. Veronica is sitting on 114. The Jan Tart family, 117. Raphael. He's looking at 120, and the Smoth family are going to offer, wait for it, 125. So we've made a £46,000 profit. So, let's be greedy, because there's gold records in there. Let's bump it up. Let's see. Let's say 5,000. Five Let's bump it up. Not too much, just enough. Let's have a look. Can we get them to squeeze out a little bit more money? Yes, we did it, Shannon. We all did it. We've all kicked a field goal today. 52,014 profit. Let's accept the offer. Okay, we are back and we are going to choose our next house to buy. So we're going to go into our computer and we're going to have a look at browse. Now, there's something that I want to have a look at first. I'm going to scroll down the bottom here. and I'm just going to have a look at this. This is 118,000. It looks pretty funky. I like the look of it. And there's a lot of things that we could possibly use. So, we've got £455,000 to actually go and purchase something. This is going to be a purchase that I'm going to be doing little bit by little bit by little bit. So, I'm going to buy this now. Yes, we're going to stay. We're not going to go. We're going to buy that now for when we actually move our office to the grand finale of this series. So... We own a first office, we own the camping bungalow, and we own our, our basically, our retirement home, okay? So, now we're going to purchase our next property for the next video. So, I'm thinking, what can I do that will be something really quick, something really cool and funky? I've got plans for this one, guys. This is going to be probably... Actually, I'm not going to disclose it. I'm not going to disclose it. Uncle's Bunker. This one is really looking at me. It comes as two levels. We've got the bunker here. Nice size. And it comes with the carport. Do you know what? I think, I think we can do something with this. I really do. So guess what, guys? Boom! We're going to buy this. And we're going to stay we're going to purchase that. We're going to have a look at the owned homes now. We've got four homes. We've still got 239,000. We are going to be millionaires by the end of the series. This one here is going to be the next project for the next video. I think that's going to be amazing. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to drop that like, place a comment down below. Twitter, in Instagram, all that jazz in the description also. Thank you so much once again, ladies and gentlemen. Shannon, thank you. It was fun. And I shall see you all on the next video.